All right, welcome back, guys, or welcome if it's your first time here. I'm Vision here with Blind Entertainment, bringing you guys another comic book review. Today, I'm going to be doing a review on one of my favorite comics, Rose by Image Comics. Now, if that's something you're interested in, something you want to see my thoughts on, see my reviews, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon that way you don't miss any future reviews on Rose moving forward. Now, let's begin. So, we start this story arc off with the rebels and Lil's upset and he's like mourning the loss of Ilya because he thinks he's, she's dead and we got Bojark there she, he's trying to comfort Will and trying to get him to fight back telling him we need to move we're like exposed and he doesn't want to fight and then a, a messenger or a member of the rebels shows up with a letter informing them that Ilya has survived and is alive and they give it to Will and it reinvigorates him and gets him to fight back because now he knows she's not dead. They're going to find her eventually and they'll re be reunited and whatnot. And I really like kind of did that within the first like two or three pages of this of this issue because they could have really dragged out the whole Will mourning the loss of Ilya for a couple, a couple more issues. I'm just glad that they breezed over it quick here and got him to be reinvigorated and joined back in the fight. So I'm really glad how that all played out. Then we jump back quick to Rose, who's in the middle of like this fog and it's the beginning of her trials that, she, or, you know, her little uh, quest that she has to go on. And we get, we get that first scenes there of her what wandering through the fog, wondering what she has to do for her challenge or quest, whatever you want to call it. And I really like how they just kind of jump there quick and then jump to another storyline. Then we jump back to the dungeon and Felix is chastising Ilya for like making comments to the guard in the previous issue because now they're both being sentenced to death and execution to make an example of them. And we got a couple of soldiers or guards show up and they're just mocking them, telling them how, you know, your time is up. And Felix is starting to like freak out because he always thought, well, I'm Drusilla's sister. I'm not going to die. She'll keep me alive. And now he's kind of coming to terms at this point with the fact that she really is like a monster and doesn't really care about anybody but herself. And I really like how you have this whole revelation of how... He, how he was wrong about Drusilla and that she really is a monster. Now that, I like how they dragged that out and kind of had him realize it over time. That's something you want them to drag out and don't want them to just quickly breeze over. And I like how that played out. And I like how, I like this Felix character. I really hope they keep him around for a while. And they do some interesting stuff with his stories moving forward. Then we return back to Rose who is going through her quest. And her first challenge is that she has she re kind of lives the day her father was killed fighting in like a war and the point of this challenge was to show her that as a guardian she will have power over who lives and who dies and pretty much showing her that you know you could bring back these people you've lost you can bring them back however she decides you know what I'm not gonna even though I miss them I, and I love them I'm not gonna bring back my father or my mother because who am I to bring them back? Other people have lost their loved ones and they're no different than me. I shouldn't be any different than them. They they shouldn't, I should have to suffer just like they are having to suffer when they lose their loved ones. And I like that because it shows how she's growing as a guardian, how she's becoming more stronger. Because a couple of issues back, she probably would have brought her father or her mother back from the dead. And I really like kind of showing her growing and becoming more self-aware as a guardian. And then you got her second challenge, which was she had to get a basket of animals across like this rapidly moving river. And she is she is struggles she struggles with it at first, but then she gets over just barely, as she says. And then she has to feed them once she makes it to land. And it's just a show that as a guardian, she is like she she has to take care of and watch over all the animals and creatures on Earth. And I really like these challenges. I thought it was going to be something a little bit more cheesier or a little bit more silly, but I really like them because it shows how Rose is growing, not just as a guardian, but as a person overall. And I'm just really excited to see where her character goes moving on in future storylines as she's growing stronger, as she's becoming more powerful as a guardian. Then we return back to Throne, who's resting. However, as he's resting and being taken care of by one of the members of this group of people that they're with, 
Drusilla activates his power, which allows her to take control of him. And I like how they did this. I thought it was going to be something different where he's captured or whatever. But I guess it's just using the power. They take control of him. And that's how they get him back. But I, he attacks these people. And he's pretty much brainwashed and under mind control. And I, I, it's, I'm kind of confused if he escapes from them. Or if he just attacks them and is like going on a rampage in their like compound there. I'm very interested to see what goes on in the next issue of him. I, I really... Rose is one of those comics, for me at least, where I feel like it's consistently getting stronger and better. Not much I can say on a negative basis. I think the only negative here is I wish we would have seen a little bit more with Throne maybe attacking some people. But um, but I'm holding back on that because we might get to see him attacking more people in the next issue. In which case, I probably wouldn't have a con about that because they probably maybe if they do do that, they that would be holding back and don't reveal everything too soon. So I'm held having an open mind because I really like what they're doing of all these characters. I wish we got a little bit more of Sir Dante in this issue. I think they should have had him here, maybe fighting back, trying to stop Throne. That would have been a little more interesting. That's probably the recon I have. I wish we would have gotten a little bit more of Sir Dante. But with all in all, I think it's such a strong issue so far. And I, and I really love how they ended this issue off all in all. So like I said, the ending was really great, and you got Felix still kind of freaking out, and you got Ilya giving him like a bit of a pep talk, trying to up his spirits and get him to become more stronger, and you know, just not to have him like give up on what he believes is, is the end of his life. So I really like that. And then at the end of it, you see this person bringing food, and at first I wasn't sure what was going on. I didn't know if he was just another person like bringing the bringing them their last meal or something but I guess it was part of his plan to like knock out the guards and it, it's revealed that he's a spy for like the rebellion and I guess I'm presuming he's the one who sent the message that Ilya is alive to the rebels and he rescues Ilya and they, I, from what I can tell it seems like they're old friends they know each other and it's I really like this new character I think his name is like artist or something like that and he rescues Ilya and breaks her out. And as they're leaving, we see Felix. He says, hold up. I have I know this place. I know how to get out of here. Let me come with you. And he's decided to come with the two of them. And I guess he's finally decided he's going to join the rebels and help take down his sister. So like I said, I really love the ending. Such a strong ending. Another great issue for Rose. I, I, another con though is I do wish that Felix had not joined so so forcibly I feel like it was a little bit forced but at the same time I'm glad they didn't drag it out where he was didn't he showed up later and joined them like in the woods or something I'm glad they did it this way and I think it was a strong way to have him join and I'm very excited to see what goes on with him and Ilya in future in in the future as well with this new artist character I think he's very interesting and I just I'm already can't wait for the new issue of Rose to come out so yeah guys, that's my review of Rose issue number 9. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and share. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon. That way you don't miss any future reviews of Rose moving forward. This has been Vision here with Blind Entertainment. And I will see you next time.